America once built a ghost, the YF-23 Black Widow, faster than the F-22, stealthier than anything on radar, and then buried by politics. Three decades later, Japan just dug it back up. The new sixth-generation stealth fighter, co-built with Britain and Italy under the Global Combat Air Program, carries that DNA, sharper, faster, meaner. A jet designed to fly past Mach 2, command AI drones and launch weapons that hit before an enemy even knows it's there. Each costs nearly $300 million, but Tokyo doesn't hesitate. China's rolling out new tailless J-36 and J-50 prototypes, armed with hypersonics. Japan's reply? Build a fighter that rewrites the rulebook. The YF-23 is reborn under the rising sun. From Rejection to Resurrection When America buried the YF-23, Japan took notes. Washington had picked the safer F-22, shelved Northrop's faster, stealthier prototype, and congratulated itself for prudence. The YF-23 disappeared into museums and hangars, a monument to what the Pentagon feared more than enemy fighters, risk. Tokyo, watching from across the Pacific, saw something else. Potential. The kind you buy when you don't get second chances. Years later, when Japan tried to purchase the F-22, Congress slammed the door. Too classified, they said. Translation, you can help fund the alliance, but you don't get to fly its crown jewels. So Japan did what America once did best, built its own miracle. The domestic F-3 Shinshin project, once a lab prototype, grew into the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP. A $40 billion partnership with Britain and Italy led by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, BAE Systems, and Leonardo. The roadmap is ruthless. Prototype rollout in 2028, first flight in 2030, and combat ready squadrons by 2035. That's not talk. It's a schedule written into law and backed by money. 5 trillion yen, $33 billion already committed to next-gen air power through the 2030s. Each aircraft may cost around $300 million, the same as America's upcoming F-47 NGAD. But Japan's version comes with fewer speeches and more hardware. And then there's the design. The GCAP looks like the YF-23's grandson. Wide diamond plan form, long blended body, and buried intakes to cut radar signature. The old YF-23 flew at Mach 2.2 and could supercruise without afterburners. Japan's engineers pushed those lessons forward. Its twin XF-9-1 afterburning turbofans each deliver 15 tons of thrust, nearly matching the F-22's power while burning 30% less fuel and hiding its infrared plume. Inside, it's even bolder. The GCAP's open architecture cockpit lets Tokyo update avionics without waiting for Pentagon approval. Its 360-degree AESA digital dome fuses radar, infrared, and electronic warfare into one unified picture, while onboard AI helps command up to four autonomous, loyal wingman drones. Scouts, jammers, or strike assets depending on mission load, the YF-23 was the stealth fighter that died too soon. GCAP is the version reborn, leaner, smarter, and built by a nation that refuses to be a spectator again. Inside the machine. Japan's sixth generation GCAP fighter is being built for one thing, to stay airborne longer, hit harder, and think faster than anything over the Pacific. Its power comes from two IHIXF 9-1 engines, each producing 15 tons of thrust while weighing less than the F-22's F-119S. In testing, the XF-9 reached Mach 2.25 for over six minutes and held Mach 1.5 supercruise without afterburners. Each engine provides 180 kilowatts of excess electrical output, enough to power advanced sensors, laser pods, or drone control networks simultaneously. Thermal management was the hardest challenge for stealth aircraft. Engineers solved it by channeling waste heat into the exhaust plume, cutting the infrared signature instead of venting it through the fuselage. Fuel efficiency improved by 30%, pushing combat radius beyond 1,200 nautical miles, twice the reach of Japan's F-15J. With conformal tanks or refueling drones, it can operate from Japan, fight near Taiwan, and return without support. Avionics follow the same logic. Adaptable, not locked. 
The Open Mission architecture allows rapid software or hardware upgrades using Japan's own industry, without waiting for foreign approvals. A fiber optic data backbone feeds a new J/APG3 multiband radar dome, integrating AESA radar, infrared search, and electronic warfare sensors into a unified 360-degree field. Each GCAP aircraft will coordinate up to four autonomous combat support unmanned aircraft (CSUAS). These drones handle reconnaissance, jamming, or strike missions depending on loadout. Mitsubishi's current prototypes can fly near Mach 0.9 with radar-absorbing skin and modular weapon bays. Together, one pilot and four drones function as a coordinated strike group, rather than a single aircraft. Weapon development keeps pace with the airframe. The JNAM long-range missile, co-developed with the UK, combines the Meteor's ramjet with Japan's IESA Seeker and exceeds 200 kilometers in range. The short-range AAM-5C uses an imaging infrared seeker and helmet-cued targeting for extreme off-boresight launches. For strike roles, a stealthy derivative of the Type 12 anti-ship missile is being redesigned for internal carriage and 600-kilometer reach. Research is also underway on compact electromagnetic launch systems that can accelerate projectiles or small drones at Mach 5 without propellant. Patents filed by Japan's Defense Innovation Unit in 2023 describe pulse power mass drivers for fighter-class platforms essentially a prototype rail assist system using the XF-9 surplus power. The same power margin could feed a 50-kilowatt defensive laser adapted from Britain's Dragonfire program to disable incoming missiles at short range. Ground and naval trials are already ongoing. An airborne demonstrator is expected after 2030. Radar research adds another edge. Mitsubishi Electric's 2024 patents describe a microwave interference detection array that identifies stealth aircraft by analyzing disruptions in ambient radio waves. In testing, this system tracked low observable drones at over 200 kilometers. The pilot interface has been completely redesigned. The new augmented reality cockpit projects radar, infrared, and drone data directly onto the visor, allowing continuous situational awareness without looking down at displays. Thousands of distributed sensors across the skin feed this network turning the jet into a mobile early warning node for the entire defense grid. Combine these systems, engines that supply railgun level power, modular avionics, cooperative drones, hypersonic weapons, and next generation sensors, and the result is not a prototype, but a combat system ready for scale. Japan's GCAP program brings the aircraft closer to its target state. A platform that operates across domains, air, space, and electronic, without outside control. The race nobody planned for. The Pacific's sixth generation race didn't start with diplomacy. It started with ambition. Three nations, three philosophies, one sky about to get crowded. The United States still plays the game like it owns the rule book. Its F-47, born from the next generation air dominance program, is a $300 million aircraft backed by an R&D budget, north of $25 billion. The goal? Total air dominance. Mach 2 plus Super Cruise, a 1,000 nautical mile radius, and full command over autonomous combat drones. But timelines are brutal. The first combat-ready units might arrive after 2032, and the final bill could hit $500 billion before 2040. It's the most ambitious, most expensive air project in U.S. history, one where technology is secondary to politics. The Air Force and Navy run competing programs, the F-47 and F-A-22, cannibalizing each other's budgets while trimming F-35 production to stay afloat. In Washington terms, that's joint strategy. In engineering terms, it's a tug of war with wings. China, meanwhile, is sprinting instead of strategizing. Its stealth prototypes, the J-36 and J-50, are already flying over Chengdu and Shenyang test ranges. The J-36 targets high-speed air superiority at around Mach 2, powered by the WS-15 engine with roughly 15 tons of thrust. The J-50, a twin canard delta, prioritizes range and multi-role payloads, but both platforms wrestle with known headaches. Fragile stealth coatings, overheating engines, unstable radar fusion. Still, China's strength lies in tempo. Chengdu Aircraft Corporation builds 70 stealth airframes a year, split between J-20s and next-gen prototypes, 
fueled by a $230 billion defense budget. Each fighter costs roughly $150 million, less than half an F-47, a strategy built on output over excellence. The logic is simple, flood the Pacific, overwhelm sensors, bury quality and numbers. It's effective until the logistics bill arrives. Japan, on the other hand, is rewriting the rulebook entirely. Its global combat air program, GCAP, blends precision, partnerships, and patience. Funded through 5 trillion yen, $33 billion up to the mid-2030s, it's the only sixth-generation program with confirmed funding, working hardware, and real delivery dates. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries leads the project, joined by BAE Systems and Leonardo, fusing British electronics, Italian avionics, and Japanese engineering discipline into one platform. Unlike the others, Tokyo's build philosophy is simple. Design for sustainability first, speed later. The GSAP carries twin XF9-1, engines producing 15 tons of thrust each, nearly F-22 levels of power but with better fuel efficiency, and 180 kilowatts of excess electrical output. That surplus feeds directed energy pods, adaptive radar, and coordinated drone uplinks, allowing Japan's upcoming loyal wingman fleet to act as remote missile carriers or decoys in formation. Every system plugs into the Hyper Defense Network 2030, a new command architecture linking destroyers, submarines, and satellites through encrypted AI channels. It's less a fighter jet, more a central processor of Japan's entire military network. And every node it touches becomes deadlier by design. Money reveals the hierarchy. The US bankrolls speed and scale. China bankrolls quantity and propaganda. Japan bankrolls permanence a self-sustaining ecosystem where engines, sensors, and missiles are built domestically and updated without waiting for foreign approval. Tokyo's 2025 defense budget already hit 7.9 trillion yen, $52 billion, up 60% since 2020, and most of it fuels homegrown production. Hypersonic missiles, next-gen radar, and electronic warfare suites that operate under one AI brain the F-47 will dominate future wars on paper, but its price limits deployment. The J-36 and J-50 will fill the skies, but without endurance or data integration, they're expendable. The G-SCAP stands between them, smaller, cheaper, and infinitely more adaptable. Where the US builds superweapons and China builds swarms, Japan builds infrastructure, the kind of smart air power that never runs out of upgrades. The GDIP isn't hype, it's proof that when Tokyo goes full anime mode, even the Pentagon starts taking notes. Somewhere, the YF-23 is smiling under a tarp, finally reborn with a Japanese passport. And if you want to see how this story unfolds, lasers, drones, and maybe one Gundam-sized surprise, you know what to do. Hit subscribe, drop a like, and stay locked in. The sky's going Japanese.